Hello viewers and uh, welcome to an unboxing video. Today we have the Kosori Premium 5.5 litre uh, air fryer. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a little, I've, I've suddenly realised it's a little bit echo in here. Nothing I can do about that unless I start wiring myself up and all that business. Now, uh, I can't tell you the price uh, of this uh, because it was a gift from my sister for Christmas and I'm not one for looking up prices when people have spent money on you, do you know what I mean? So you'll have to look up the price yourself. But here we are, uh, the Kasori, uh, Kasori, I think that's how you say it, premium 5.5 litre air fryer. As always with my unboxing videos, I've read nothing about it. So it literally is the box and I'll open it and this is how it will happen for you. All right, my darlings, so let's go. Looks like it's been opened already, actually. I reckon she had a little peek inside to check everything was there. So thank you for that one, sister. A lot of people buying these at the moment. Um, they became extremely difficult, that's air fryers as a whole. Certainly a couple of weeks ago, around the Christmas period, everyone was buying them as presents. So I'm lucky to have this. Let's see what we got. All right. Take away the packaging. Looks like it wants to be lifted out of that somehow. Here we go, what's this? Uh, prepare your kitchen and your appetite. Let's have a look what's in here. All right, that's, uh, that's a decent way to put a book in a, in a, in a box, I must say. Uh, two year warranty, we get a two year warranty with this. Okay, information in there on how to register. Then we have a user manual. Tells you what to do, we'll keep that handy. Uh, quick reference guide, telling you what you should be using. Let's have a look there. Oh, it tells you what, tells you in easy ways what to do. Um, how to keep stuff warm, how to preheat it using on manual, customise your presets, different things there to understand. We'll have a look at that once it's out of the box. Might, I actually, I'll probably refer to the main. Oh, and some recipes, that's handy. That's really handy. Fried mozzarella bites, oh yes please. Okay, so you get a recipe book with it as well, which is unusual, I mean, you wouldn't get one with an oven usually, would you? Righty yo, let's take this out. Okay, if you feel, if you just put your two hands in the top like this and feel around, there is actually two handles which feel like you should be able to pull it out of those and indeed, there you go, look. Okay, so one there and one there. And nothing else in the box other than the polystyrene and the box itself, all right? So we'll stick this out of the way. And it excited, I'm so excited. You're supposed to save an absolute fortune on uh, electricity using these, these uh, air fryer products. Take the bag off. When I do these unboxing videos, I never know how long they're gonna be. All right. Uh, well, it looks like it's up, is it upside down? No, it's not, there we go. Right, read caution on the back. Do not fill with oil. This is not a deep fat fryer. There's all the instructions on the top here. Stuff which you're not supposed to do. Do not press button while moving or shaking basket. What button's that? Oh, there's a red button somewhere. <laughs> Probably eject out the top of your roof or something like that. <laughs> Where's the button then? I don't see a button anywhere. Maybe that will become apparent. I'll leave that on for now, but of course you want to peel off any labels really before you start cooking, because you never know how hot these things, it's probably going to be cool, but you never know, uh, and it does say peel, so we'll take it off before we start there. Download the free V-Sync app to access original recipes and more recipes and video tutorials uh, from the Kasori chefs. Interact with our online community and more. So that would be handy if you run into any problems. Um, and it does say there, do not fill this with oil. It's not a deep fat fryer. Okay, before you get started, let's have a look then. 
Now, once again, I, I do struggle with instruction pictures sometimes, all right? I'm not sure what that's telling me to do, okay? Um, but it does say there's plastic inside. Make sure to pull out and separate the baskets. Okay, so peel this off. It says peel on the corner there. There's some sellotape bits all around the outside, which I think you can see here. They all seem to be holding the drawer in, sort of here. So there we go. Put those around like that. Um, two on the back here as well. A couple of bits of sellotape on the back there, see those? They just peel off very easily. Like that. Bit of plastic around the palm in them, uh, uh, plug rather. I don't quite understand, they've probably got a little plastic thing on there. Take that off, okay. Right, now it says read caution on back. There's a little label here and it just says caution hot surfaces. Okay, fair enough. Plastic inside, so how do we open this? All right, okay, just pull it out. I don't know if you need to push that button down or not, so we've got plastic in here. Is that all one piece, is it? It seems to be all one piece there. It's like a double type thing there, yeah? It says there's like a tray and a plastic, in, oh, it's two, both metal. So they're both metal bits, but it's kind of a tray within a tray, and I would have thought that comes out. Somehow, but there's three screws holding that in there. Um, and this is a plastic button here. I think we might have to get the instruction book out to have a, a go at this. There's two pieces of cardboard in there. Remove all this stuff, for God's sake, remove all this stuff before you start it, because you'll have a fire. Underneath in there, looks like there's uh, some sort of electrical element in there. All right. My guess is, um, when you first use it a couple of times, it's going to smell a bit because they usually coat, coat, coat those elements in some sort of oil. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm a bit bemused by this, by the fact that I, I, would, I just would have thought the inside came out for cleaning, but let's push it back in. And what does this button do here? I have no idea what this button does. Either it's, well, it's not really, it's not really a button. Oh, hang on, what's this here? Ah, oh, aha, uh -huh. okay, right. So the metal, the, the, the clear thing here at the front there, when you move that out of the way, there's a button underneath it, right? So you move this out of the way, there's a button underneath there, and that's how you'd separate it, watch. Aha! Straight in the dishwasher, no mucking around. I assume you can put it in the dishwasher, I haven't read yet. Oh, and it's a good job I did that. More plastic underneath there, okay, get rid of that. We don't want to be cooking the plastic. Oh, see, I'm sure if I read the book, I'd know that by now, but I don't know anyone that reads a book, to be honest. Okay, so we'll peel this off as recommended. Put that there. Now, does this top open? When you, you, when you pull it out, it doesn't appear that you have to push a button or anything, but you do have to give it a fairly good tug, right? A, a, a light tug won't pull that out. Pull it out, and there you go. Now, does this top bit open at all? Or, or is that just part of it? I don't know. I think, I have, I have a feeling that's it. Um, right, okay. Now, I don't see any buttons on here. There's a thing at the back here. 
Um, can you see that there? It's like a a handle of some sort. Now, what would? Oh, hang on a minute. Is it? That might be for the lead. Oh, I see. That's probably for the lead, like that, isn't it? Can you see that, like that? That's probably for the lead. Okay. Right. Do you know? I've got a feeling we're ready to go, and that's it. So what we're going to need is some food to put in it. Right, now let's refer to the book, now that we've got all that gone there. Oh, here we are, the buttons are here. They're like those touch-sensitive screen things. I personally prefer a proper button. Do you know what I mean? When you push it and you can feel it. So, we'll have a look around here now. Do you know, I could have done with my glasses. Can you, uh, do you mind waiting a moment? Now, here we go. Package of contents. That tells you what it is. General safety information. Most of it, as always, is um, common sense. Don't put the plug in water, you know, that sort of thing. Um, an air fryer works with hot air. Never fill the basket with oil or fat. Never use your air fryer without the baskets in place. Do you not, well, I don't see how you can do that, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I mean, would someone just put stuff in there? I suppose they would really, wouldn't they? Can you see the bit at the bottom there? Never just put food in there. Always use the baskets provided. Plus, of course, when you close them, it keeps all the hot air inside, doesn't it? Uh, don't place food that's too big. Metal utensils. No paper, cardboard, non-heat resistant plastic or similar materials. Don't put baking or parchment paper into the air fryer without food on top. Air circulation can cause paper to lift and touch heating coils. Always use heat safe containers. I have seen advertised um, these rubbery, I don't know what they're made of, like a rubbery plastic stuff. And you can put your stuff in there and then put that in there. And then you, you'd keep that clean all the time without having to uh, uh, put that actual unit in the um, uh, dishwasher. I don't even know if you're allowed to put it in the dishwasher yet. We haven't come to that. And uh, onwards. Right. Don't block any in ventilation vents. You know, any holes around the side there. Is there any? Uh, yeah, underneath. On the sides. Ventilation on both sides there. And underneath, of course. So, all right, little things here with holes in them. All right. Uh, uh, only pre ah, that's this. This is the button. Here we go. That we, we saw earlier. Only press the basket release button with the baskets resting flat on a counter or any level heat resistant surface. Yeah, that's why. So that's why you don't want to be pressing that. I suppose when the thing's working. That's why that plastic thing's there, right? Because when that's when the door's closed, you can't push it. So. Once again, you open it up, pull it open, push the little plastic thing back, and then you, you like I showed you earlier, to release it and then clean it. All right. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to cook something in this. Um, we'll see how long this video takes, and then maybe we'll cook something in this video, or we might do a part two. Um, there's the front, tells you all the bits and pieces there. Or getting to know your air fryer and the buttons and it says when you press a button or use a function program it will turn blue to show that it's active and then there's all these different presets that will come up here you see look uh, chicken steak seafood shrimp bacon frozen foods french fries root vegetables vegetables desserts and then uh, this bit here, where it shows you the different temperatures, decrease temperature, keep warm, switching between control time and temperature. Do you know, it looks ever so complicated to me, I'll be honest with you. It's not like just shoving something in an oven, you just turn it on. There's all these different buttons on there, which I'm finding a little bit bemusing. Right, before first use, remove all the packaging, we've done that. Place the air, flyer, 
air fryer on a stable level heat resistant surface, keep away from areas that can be damaged by steam such as walls or cupboards. Pull the handle to remove the baskets, press the basket release button to separate the inner basket from the outer cover, wash both baskets thoroughly using either a dishwasher or a non-abrasive sponge, that's before you use it, okay? Wipe the inside and outside of the air fryer with a slightly moist cloth, dry it with a towel, put the baskets back inside the air fryer. So we'll, um, we'll do that. We'll give this inside, is it both baskets? Hang on a minute. Wash both baskets thoroughly, okay? So we'll uh, go over to the sink. With just a bit of uh, soapy water on these two items. There we are. As instructed. I wonder what it is, um, why they always tell you to to sort of wash it all up first, really. Because um, it's all like, I suppose it would be chemicals. Are we trying to wash chemicals off or something like that? Maybe. Take these back over and dry them. I suppose if it says wash them, there is a reason for that. You know. Just wonder if anyone's put them in sneeze over them when they were making them. <laughs> There we go. Right. It's fairly easy, can I just show you this? It's really easy to put them back together, you know? There's like a, like, you know, a little bit there. And it, it just go together so perfectly, you know, you haven't got to worry about, oh, oh, I can't get it back together like they do with some stuff, don't they? It's just terrible. Right, come up here a bit. Let's have another look at the book. So we've washed uh, the insides and outsides, slightly moist cloth. Oh, okay, right. So we're going to do the inside now. So just this bit down here, I would assume, not where the, uh, uh, the element is. Damp cloth, I've got a sponge here, so we'll give that a little bit of a, uh, a clean out as well. Oh, you want to come back down there, don't you? There we are. I don't have to tell you why you're doing this, don't have it plugged in. <laughs> don't blame me if you're electrocuted. Right. And dry that out. I hope this will be easy to clean once you've used it. I've got um, one of those sandwich toaster things, George Foreman things, and I must say I find that a bit of a nightmare to clean, especially if you've had a uh, sort of, I use, the, I have some of these uh, Linda McCartney cheeseburgers that I do on it, and honestly, the, the mess afterwards, you've got to clean it while it's still hot to be able to do it, you know. Right, put the baskets back inside the air fryer. There we go. They're in. 
Test run. Oh, a test run will help you become familiar with your air fryer and make sure it's working correctly and clean it of possible residues in the process. Make sure the air fryer baskets are empty and plug in the air fryer. It's always an exciting moment, wondering whether it's gonna go bang or not. So here we go, we've got a socket over there. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? You can't see me now. Um, that reach there? No, it won't. Oh. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> you can't see me now, can you? Uh, I'll have to rethink this now. Let's have a look. I'll, I'll do it over there, I suppose. Yeah, let's do it over there. Right. Let's plug in. And turn on. That sounds uh, promising. Well, the other way around now, aren't we? Alrighty, uh, make sure the air fryer starts up. Press preheat. The display will show 205 centigrade and five minutes. So, well, what's preheat? I don't see any preheat button on there. There's only this blue one that's a light here at the moment. Come closer. I can only see that blue light on there. So, does it say anything about that? No, it doesn't say, but that looks like an on off button today. So let's press this. Ah, there we go. All the other buttons have come on the light now. See, don't say that. Doesn't say that in here. So remember that gang. All right, that light in the middle there, blue. When you plug it in, that's the only light that'll be on. Press that and all the other lights will uh, burst into life, okay? Press preheat. The display will show 205 centigrade. Preheat, there it is. Preheat there, okay. Sorry, you're getting a little bit of shining. What's, what's shining on that? Oh, it's this screen, isn't it? Um, I can sort that, hang on. Let's turn it around. Oh yeah, that's gone now. Um, this is a little bit blurry, I'm afraid. Not a lot I can do about that, it's just the camera, okay? It says at the moment 180 degrees centigrade, 15 minutes, but we haven't pressed anything yet. So let's go by the instructions. Press preheat. There you go, and indeed it says 205 centigrade here and five minutes here. Uh, press the play button. There it is, the play button there. Okay, it looks just the same as the play button on a tape recorder or something like that, okay? All right, so we'll press that as instructed to begin preheating. When the preheating is done, the there it goes. Can you hear that? That's burst into life, it's doing something now. Um, when the preheating is done, the air fryer will bleep. So presumably we have to wait five minutes, as you can see on here. So that will happen now by the magic of my video, very quickly. Three minutes has passed now, and we've got two minutes left. Just wanted to tell you what's going on really. Um, there is, as expected, a slight smell coming off it, an odd sort of electrical burning oily smell, which is quite normal when you first use um, anything with like a heating element in it when you first use it, all right? Um, there's no indication any, oh, there we go, at the back there, oh yeah, there's some holes at the back there. I can feel like hot air uh, coming right out the back of the unit there, all right? But apart from that, I can't really feel any heat coming off it, so this is completely cool to touch. You wouldn't know that anything is warming up in here at all, to be honest. The, the drawer itself seems completely sealed. There's no air leaking around there. It's just a couple of little holes out the back where I thought that cable tie-in thing. So clearly, um, it does do more than that, right? So there we are. Um, right, there we go. So that's obviously done. Let's just pull back a little bit again. So it's bleeped off there. Um, pull out the baskets and let them cool for five minutes. So as we open this, presumably we'll be hit with a wall of heat coming out there. So let's just... Uh... Yeah, well, they are hot. Um, I don't really want to touch them. Oh, no. 
Yeah, basket's very, very hot now. So these need to cool off now. Does it, is it, let's, yeah, the bottom's very hot as well. So you're supposed to let them pull those out. Obviously you don't want to put those on a wooden surface or something like that. Um, but the, the front of it, that's cool. So I can just rest those like that and let them cool off. So we've got to again wait for five minutes and uh, we'll make that happen very quickly again. Once again, another five minutes has passed. Um, I actually left the kitchen for a few moments there and to, to play on my piano to make the time go a little bit quicker. And I must say, when you come back in the kitchen after leaving it, there is that burning oil smell which you get with new, new stuff. Don't worry too much about that. Unless, of course, it bursts into flames and immediately call the fire brigade. All right. Um, but we go then. It looks like we're going to run it again. So let's push this back in here. Oh, I note the button. The, so you may have noticed the lights went off then. The lights were off when I came back. So there's obviously some sort of feature which will turn it off completely if you don't use it for a while. So be aware of that. Now I've put the drawer back in. The blue light has come back on. So we need to turn it back on to get all the little bits and pieces come out. It says press. That's a funny looking thing that is. Um, what is it? Oh, it's a stake. Can you just about see that there? Just about see that. It's a picture of a, apparently a picture of a steak. <laughs> I don't know how to eat it if it was that colour, but there we are. Um, and the steak symbol is here. Okay, top left hand corner. And it says press steak to select steak. Okay, so it comes up with information. Uh, and it says 205 degrees centigrade for six minutes, which it says. Uh, press temperature and time twice, which is here. One, two. Okay. Then press the minus button once to change the time to five minutes. Plus or minus here. Oh, it's, it's stopped. So we'll do that again. Press that twice. And then we press the minus button to make that five. Uh, and then press the play button again, which is down here to begin. And off it goes again for another five minutes. I do like the sound of uh, uh, machines as they whir into action, whether it's a washing machine or whatever. And then this is the last thing to test, I believe, with. Okay. So again, five minutes. Let's make it disappear quickly. There's almost another five minutes past there. Um, we'll just wait for it to beep and it'll be done. And I think that's it for all the testing, because after that it says, pull out the baskets, this time let the baskets cool completely for uh, anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes. You'll know when they're completely cool. All right, and that's all the information that before your first use. There are some basket tips it tells you about in the instructions, which I'll go through. Uh, only separate the basket to clean or, or on or after cooking. The button guard, I told you about that. Um, you can't push it while it's on because there's a little guard. Just slide it back, it goes past, there you go, that's finished now. Goes past, to fit, uh, it, it, it moves fairly easily once you've got the thing out there. You don't want to do it while it's hot, obviously. We'll just open this now. And again, there's a lot of heat coming out of there now, lovely. And of course, um, electricity wise, I mean, it's common sense really. When you've got an oven on, that's quite a large space to heat. This is tiny in comparison. It'll probably do you, you know, that's quite a, I would say that's fairly large. You can do easily two meals in that. Um, two reasonable sized pasties or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, don't, obviously don't press that release button while you're carrying the basket from there to there because the bottom will just drop out all right be careful of that using the air fryer um it's always a good idea to preheat it it says here so press the in this case it actually says press the play button which it didn't say <coughs> <coughs> on the other instructions use the preheat function which is on there we saw that earlier and then uh, follow the instructions here all right for doing preheating um, and that is really about it. You can either use one of the preset programs that are all in there. I showed you fish, steak, vegetables, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but you can do it manually as well. 
and looking down the list of things, the first thing I want to do in this is cheese and onion pasties uh, because my sister does them and they are blooming delicious. She does them in the air fryer. Um, my brother-in-law and sister have gone into these in full depth and they do regular recipes and cookery programs um, using their air fryer. And if you want to find those, just go to the Butler's Empire channel the Butler's Empire channel on YouTube and you will find so many videos on there testing air fryers, various different different recipes. I don't know if cheese and onion pasties are on there actually, uh, but there's a lot on there and you'll get a lot of information and learn a lot from my brother-in-law and sister. So once again, check out the Butler's Empire channel and have a look around on there for the air fryers and stuff there. It's the more recent one sort of around uh, uh, the end of 2022, I think they started doing those somewhere around September, maybe. I might have that wrong, but have a look around there. Butler's Empire, okay, is the channel you want. And um, yes, I was wondering if I had time to do some pasties, but I think we'll leave that uh, for another video. This is enough for you to learn uh, up to now. And uh, once again, this has been uh, an unboxing video for the Corsi, the Cosori, the Cosori um, Premium. 5.5 litre air fryer and the model number is there as well cp158 uh, af hope you enjoyed it see you soon